President Obama's attempts to derail a Palestinian bid for UN recognition took a hit on Tuesday from Republican presidential hopefuls Rick Perry and Mitt Romney. Texas Governor Perry assailed the commander-in-chief in New York on Tuesday, calling the president's policy one of appeasement. He also argued that Obama bolstered the Palestinian effort to seek recognition by the global body when he suggested earlier this year that a Middle East peace deal should require Israel to return to its pre-1967 borders. Perry's statements come as Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas plans to speak to the UN on Friday to recognize the disputed territory as a member state. The U.S. has threatened to veto the move in the Security Council, but Palestinians can still jockey for a limited recognition of statehood by the veto-less General Assembly, a vote that is expected to succeed if it happens. Obama, who is scheduled to address the United Nations on Wednesday, has been criticized by many pro-Israeli activists for not backing Israel unconditionally in its stalled negotiations with Abbas. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney also released a statement today blasting Obama's policy on Israel. He said, quote, What we are watching unfold at the United Nations is an unmitigated diplomatic disaster. It is the culmination of President Obama's repeated efforts over three years to throw Israel under the bus. In his statement, Romney said the U.S. should reaffirm its support for Israel and cut funding to the Palestinian Authority.